Hi guys, I recently made this wall art with the help of a canvas board and some golden wires. So let's see how I did it. So this is the canvas board in this size which I bought from Amazon. You can buy whichever size suits you. It is a board um, and I have marked some dots in the edges at around 1 cm gap and um, I will be marking on all the three sides leaving one side. Um, to make the holes I am using this small nail and I will, I will be hammering it on the canvas board. Uh, so you know making the whole process was little difficult since it's a board and it was quite difficult however I did manage you can see I've done it already on this side and I will be doing on all the three sides so here I am managed to drill not really drill hammer the holes on three sides leaving one side I had not removed the plastic before and as you can see I am using an acrylic paint. So I have removed the plastic now because I didn't want it to get dirty before. And now you will see me just marring some style with the acrylic paint on the canvas. And believe me guys this was such an experience. Uh, well I have never painted on a canvas, I am um, not much of a painter anyway. But you know during schools. Uh, school you must have experienced painting classes but never painted on a canvas and this was such a great feeling and I, I would recommend you must try so here I am I've painted it all black you can see some strokes however I feel they shouldn't be visible after I've done it so as you can see this is what I've done three sides have been ho made the hole so on the fourth side, I will be making one big hole in the center. So here I've used a screw, a thicker screw of course, that nail of course will not work. So I've taken a thicker screw and made the hole. And now with another bigger nail, I'm just trying to make the hole bigger. I have a particular design in mind. So that's why this is what I've done. So you can see the hole is quite big now and these are small holes which I am sure you can't see on the camera on the three sides. So this is the golden wire which I am using, it's, it's quite thin, it's almost like a thread. Mm, however, it's of course since it's a wire it's stiff. I am also using this uh, industrial glue to you know fix the wire to the canvas and a tape so to start with I was just trying to figure out you'll see how difficult working with this wire was I mean this is just the most non cooperative wire that you will find on earth I was just trying to figure out how to do it and I was I finally understood this is not how it will work so I had to cut a long piece first like how you stitch and then I also used a needle because to you know put them pass them through the holes it was important to use the needle so after a lot of try I am fixing one end of the wire with the tape and I will also use a glue since the glue takes a little time to set I will be fixing it temporarily with the tape so one end of the wire I am fixing at the back of the canvas and I will be working basically weaving on the canvas with the other end maybe I am making it sound a little complicated however it's not complicated at all and believe me guys you can do whatever design you want it's abstract it's handmade you don't need to be perfect and here I start a 
okay so here comes out my wire and I will be take passing the wire through the first hole at the top okay here comes my next problem although I had used quite a thin needle yet the other side of the needle didn't pass through I was struggling believe me finally I had to use an even smaller needle again I'm still struggling you can see that although not the holes are very small but somehow it was getting stuck the wire was getting you know tangled so okay finally since it's gone through I am going to tape pass it through the next hole with yes you are seeing right I pulled it through my teeth I again changed the needle actually because it wasn't working so this is the smallest and the thinnest needle that I had so this made my life a little easier now so now as you can see um, I'm going in this format like I'm covering all the holes on the um, sides and I'm connecting them to the hole in the middle and wherever the wire is you know basically the wire ends I have attached another wire and continued the process so now when I finished one side I saw that that hole in the center was almost done there was no more space left I had to do th two more sides so I decided to change the design and this is what I'll do now so this is what I've done So this is how it will come this is how I started weaving you see I hope you can understand now where it's going it's just a crisscross uh, design you can do whichever pattern whichever design just pass it through any hole it will come to any it will definitely come to an abstract design it will look good do not worry okay so once this was done I was still left with few holes in this in the bottom so this is what I did I've left the center blank if you want you can paint it or whatever I, I just like it this way and this is the final product I know it's not perfect I know it's not that clean but come on as I always say it's handmade it's made with love it's so that's it I hope you like it